What's going on guys? I'm Jimmy and this is One Road. Today I'm going to change the oil in my 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. <laughs> When we take a look under the hood, we can see our oil fill cap here, which says SAE 5W30. So that's the oil that I'm gonna use. I went out to Costco and I bought a six quart pack of 5W30 on sale for, I think it was $27.99, something like that. On top of that, I'm gonna be adding a secret ingredient and this stuff is called motor coat. If you guys look up videos on YouTube of this stuff, it's pretty amazing. As a matter of fact, I follow this channel called Project Farm, which is absolutely phenomenal. That guy does an amazing job at doing what he does. Uh, just all kinds of testing on small engines, testing oils and different additives and things like that. Absolutely amazing. He's killing it on YouTube right now. But he did a test on this motor coat stuff, a lubricity test, and the results were absolutely astonishing. And I started researching all this stuff, this hyper lubrication, and it seems that there's a couple of other products uh, one called Best Line and one called TVT. And I believe along with Motor Coat, they're all kind of similar in how they lubricate. So it's pretty interesting and I really suggest you guys should go look that stuff up. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove this oil fill cap. That'll allow air inside here for the oil to flow a lot freer down out of the oil drain plug. Under the car, you can see that's my oil filter and you can see there's a magnet there and there's also the same one on the other side. Those have been there since the last oil change and I'm trying to collect any sort of ferrous material that there may be not being caught by the uh, filter media. And therein lies the oil drain plug, 15 millimeter. Okay, so out here in the Pacific Northwest, we have a store called North 40 Outfitters. It's almost like a really, really big high-end Ace Hardware, just a big hardware store. They sell everything you could possibly think of from hunting equipment uh, all the way down to shovels and hoses and you know everything in between. So in their automotive section, they had an entire wall of Hastings premium filters. I did a little bit of research on these and I have to be honest, there's not much online, not much on YouTube. However, there are a few people, a couple different videos I saw where they cut these filters open along with a bunch of other ones and these filters they always said were really nice and they looked nice the media the filter media was nice it also used a real uh, coil spring and uh, just everything about them just seemed like they were a premium filter so I decided I was gonna go ahead and try these out uh, this is the one for my 95 Suburban and this is the one for my 2003 Suburban they were only about five or six dollars a piece which makes them a bargain in my book so let's go ahead and pop open the one for this 03. And here is the filter. It says Hastings Premium Filters LF232. And uh, the actual filter body itself uh, seems relatively thick and firm. So um, I think these are going to be a good filter. Another thing I wanted to point out is good old made in the USA. Okay, so if we take a look here at my uh, oil drain plug, you'll see the end is actually magnetic and it looks relatively dark. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and wipe it on my white rag here and we'll see what that looks like. Okay, so here we go. So that's it guys, the magnet itself is uh, darker in color, but uh, it does look like, you know, not that there's metal shavings or anything, but it is catching something. Okay guys, this is another secret that I'm showing you. So clearly, the manufacturer, and most manufacturers nowadays, include a magnet on the end of their oil drain plug. And that is for a reason. It's to catch any sort of ferrous material that may be floating around in the system that the filter did not catch. I tend to think that this magnet, although magnetic, is fairly weak. I mean, it, I do feel it being magnetized there. But I have these little uh, button magnets. These are really strong rare earth magnets. It just so happens to fit perfectly 
within the end of the oil drain plug and I don't think that's going to interfere with uh, the socket or anything like that because it's within that space. Now what this is doing is actually magnetizing the entire uh, oil plug. So even this area up here, the smooth area, it's a lot more magnetic than this area here. So uh, I think this is going to just help to catch any sort of ferrous material that might be floating around in that oil. You can see how magnetic that is. So just another tip on magnets. Obviously, manufacturers do include them, so there is a purpose. So why not use them? Now, there seems to be a big debate out there as to whether or not to pre-fill your oil filters before you screw them up into the motor. For me, it's simple. Uh, if the oil filter screws directly vertical, then why not? But if the oil filter screws directly horizontal, do you see the problem? My 2003 screws straight up and my 95 screws completely horizontally. So I'm not gonna pre-fill a horizontal oil filter only to have oil then pour out completely uh, while I'm trying to screw it in. Uh, so that is the answer to that question. If you guys were wondering what, what I prefer, would I prefer to pre-fill the oil filter? Sure, but only if it screws vertically and is not gonna spill everywhere when I'm screwing it in. Now comes the fun part. I'm gonna go ahead and add this motor coat, but let's take a look at the back and see what they recommend. Well, if we take a look at the back, we can see it says oil crankcase. It says two ounces per quart for passenger vehicles or three ounces per quart for heavy duty. And frequency of use says use every other oil change or more frequently for optimal performance. You can also add it to your transmission differential, transfer case, and power steering, which I plan to do. Their description up here says, Motor Coat Hyper Lubricant is a multi-use heat and friction reducer that creates an additional surface of lubrication. Motor Coat is formulated to provide added lubrication not only in internal combustion engines, but all moving mechanical parts. I'm not doing a commercial for these guys, but all I can say is the stuff I was seeing online on YouTube was pretty amazing, especially from the Project Farm channel I really trust that guy's opinions and what he does, and he uh, seemed to love this stuff. So per the motor coat instructions, it says two ounces per quart. This 5.3 liter Vortec motor takes six quarts of oil, which I already added. So now I'm gonna add 12 ounces of motor coat. I have this little measuring cup here. It's four ounces to the top line. And you do need to shake this stuff up before you use it. All right guys, so I'm done with the oil change and I also added five ounces of motor coat to my transmission uh, dipstick tube there. And it's because I looked up how many quarts, like what's the capacity when you just drop the pan and do a filter change. And I was getting anywhere from five to about seven quarts is what I was able to read online. So I just figured if I put five ounces because the motor coat calls for one ounce per quart, uh, five ounces of motor coat in the transmission pan. I'll feel it out. I do have somewhat of a sticky second gear. I shouldn't say sticky. I should say it's kind of like a hard uh, kick in into second gear or possibly third. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm coming around a corner, pressing the gas, and it kind of kicks down real hard um, into second or third. I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but I'm hoping that this motor coat being a hyper lubricant helps to lubricate everything in there. Hopefully I put enough in there to do you know, its job. But I was trying to save enough of my 32 ounce bottle for my other truck. I'm gonna have 10 ounces in that motor. That one's a 5.7 liter and uh, holds five quarts of oil. And I'll also put another five ounces of motor coat in the transmission of my other Suburban. So we're gonna start this one up and uh, let the fluids process. All right guys, so here goes the first start. Sounds great. Question for you guys out there with the 5.3 liter Vortec. You guys have this ticking sound, right? Can you hear it? Let me put the camera closer.
Well, here is that uh, Wix XP oil filter, and there is two magnets on this thing. You can see the two magnets there, and I think, and I decided that I'm actually going to make a completely separate video where I rip this thing open and we check these magnets on the other side to see if they caught anything. I was gonna do that in this video, but I just don't have the time for it, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, we talked about a couple things. We talked about magnets. I put another magnet on my oil drain plug, and uh, we also talked about motor code. So some pretty awesome things you can do when you just simply change your oil, not to mention using good oil. I always try to use Mobile One fully synthetic oil, and if you guys are Costco shoppers, you can usually get it there a pack of six quarts for like 27 bucks, I think is what the sale price is. Uh, so always check that. Well, I'm Jimmy with One Road. Thanks for watching me change the oil on my 2003 Chevrolet Suburban. I hope you enjoyed it. Please hit the thumbs up if you did and subscribe. And also don't forget to check the description below this video for a link to that motor coat that I was talking about. And no, I don't work for motor coat and this was no sort of paid endorsement. I just saw some videos online that amazed me and uh, thought I'd give it a try. So this is my first time and I will be making a future video reporting back on anything that you know changes with the, the way my motor acts or anything like that. Same thing with my transmission. And I have two vehicles that I'm gonna be doing this to, so I'll have a good baseline. I'm also getting ready to tow 1,100 miles. Uh, big road trip ahead, so I should have a pretty good indication as to whether my trucks are running nice and smooth, smoother than before, or hopefully not worse. All right, guys, again, I'm Jimmy. Peace out.